Well, hello there, everybody. Happy Thursday. I hope you are all having a fantastic Thursday. Today is a not Christmassy drawing. Woohoo! Yay. This was supposed to go up um, last week, but uh, it didn't. Long story short, it didn't. So, here we are. Anyway, it's me, Lainey. I'm not sure if I said that. Mm -hmm. Yikes. Anyway, today we are doing a Dungeons and Dragons commission from a friend of mine. I don't know why I said it like that. But anyway, we have six characters. Uh, what I did with this one is a bit different from what I usually do, which is I take the sketch, I do the line art, and then I color the line out. But instead, what I did is instead of doing the line art digitally, I did the line art traditionally. And then I used magical powers of layers. And I made the traditional sketch, the line art, digitally. That makes sense? I don't know if it does. I'm bad at explaining things, but we're here. We're ready to go. You know what? I'm going to scroll back through my conversation, and we're going to talk about um all the people here. We've got the DM, you know, the people that run the game, you know. If you don't know Dungeons and Dragons, it's the one that's wearing the, the big the big cloak, the dungeon master, the great and powerful almighty. Um they say that she is very patient and kind and spends most of the game laughing at how much we fumble through our adventures like bumbling idiots. You know, that is a great um explanation, you know, that's how I think D D should be. More time not playing the game. And less time playing the game, you know? More time uh, non-sensing, less time sensing. Good. Then we have Carlin, which is the gnome barbarian female. She is the one in the middle. She is three feet tall. She has white hair. She's in love with her great axe. I mean, honestly, same. I have a giant foam battle axe, and we love. Um... <laughs> Don't ask why, I just bought it one day, I was, I had money then. Um, anyway, Carlin is very quick to rage, often needs to be restrained from getting the rest of us in trouble. Or them, rest of them in trouble. Sorry, I'm just reading it like right off the thing. Rest of them in trouble. So, yep, she's the one right in the middle. And then we've got someone whose name I can't pronounce, which is not uncommon. I'm gonna call him Bass. Yeah, I will maybe put something up in the magical world of editing. Hey, Lenny, can you write what the name actually is? Cool. Anyway, he is a dragonborn paladin male. He's the only male in the group. Um, he's 6'2". He's very red and scaly, which I didn't do a very good job on the scales. I don't know how to draw scales. I don't know how to draw dragons. I tried. I tried. Anyway, he likes to be naked. He loves that his sword and shield are shiny. That was so hard to say. That was too many S letters. Um, he thinks he's quite romantic and flirts with everybody regardless of gender or species. You know, that's just how it should be. Uh, if you can't guess which one he is, that's a, that's a yikes on your part. Then we've got Bess, the tiefling ranger female. The one with the demon horns and the arrow. That just generally looks upset. Uh, she's five foot eight, very quiet, reserved, and serious. She's got red skin, black hair, black eyes, demon. She's a demon. Uh, she does a lot of eye rolling and is very slow to trust people. Her close friends are like family, and she'll mess you up if you look at them sideways. Did not say mess, but we're a kind of PG channel, I guess. I try. Um... Then we've got Mac, the half-elf druid female. She's 5'11 and very androgynous. She has short white hair um, with a big chunk of purple at the front. Doesn't really use a weapon. Turns into animals. Very pretty. And plays the bagpipes every chance. <laughs> Gets. Because, um, why not? Bagpipes, normal, you know, for, uh, Droid. Anyway, we've got Foxglove, who is a halfling warlock female. She's three one. She's got kind of darker skin, really big eyes. Her hair 
it was so fun to draw it's like it's a, it looks like a, a giant cloud which is how it's described uh she's very sweet but tends to snap a little mentally unstable due to being in prison for eight years uses a lot of necrotic necro no my words uh mental manipulation spells night likes to knit ugly sweaters yet she doesn't actually know they're ugly i did do a drawing of the ugly sweaters thing because i gave two options um i like the one that i ended up drawing a lot more but i'll post the sketch of the other one up there just so you know that it exists and i think it's kind of cute but yeah that's a lot but it's a lot of fun, you know? I think it's a great little cast of people and I hope they're having a fantastic D&D session right now. They might not be, but, 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 they look like they have a lot of fun. Don't they look like they have a lot of fun? Um, you know, tell me in the comments, do you play D&D? Tell me in the comments, do you enjoy these characters, how they're designed, and do you think I should draw them again? That's the real question. That's the tea, honey. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're having a fantastic Thursday. Christmas is really creeping up on us, isn't it? Um, there's only five more days till Christmas, isn't that mega spooky? But anyway, if it's not Thursday when you're watching this, I hope you have a fantastic